Hi, today we're going to learn about converting percentages. So your objective is to convert percents or percentages to fractions and decimals, and we're actually going to learn vice versa. And don't forget to put page eight. All right, well, first of all, I've broken down the word percent into its meaning. It means per or each cent 100. So think about cents and a dollar, there's 100. So it really means each 100. All percentages are out of 100. So circle that and make sure you remember that because that's important. Okay, so if I am given a percent and I want to change it into a fraction, well, I know that all percents are out of 100. So all I have to do is put it over 100. All right? And then, of course, I'm going to put it in simplest form, so I need to reduce it. So here I can think again. Think back to when we, I wrote down all the factors of 100. Well, I need to think of what factor of 100 also goes into 24. I know 10 doesn't work, 25 won't work, 20 won't work, 4 would work. So I'm going to divide by 4. And whatever I do to 1, the numerator, I have to also do to the denominator. 24 divided by 4 is 6. And 100 divided by 4 is 25. So 24% as a fraction in simplest form would be 6 25ths. All right. Next one. If I want to start with a percentage and change it to a decimal, well, again, I can use this trick that all percents are out of 100. And I could write 235 over 100. And then I could just divide that and make it a decimal. That does not go into 2 or 23, and it goes into 235 twice, which I know it's going to have a whole number because it's over 100%. One whole is 100%. So if it's over 100%, you know it's over one whole. I add a decimal and a zero. 100 goes into 353 times. I add another zero, and 100 goes into 505 times. So 2.35. Well, there's actually a, a really cool trick to doing this, and it's about moving the decimal. Now, in a percentage, if you do not see a decimal, it means the decimal's at the end, just like a whole number. If you don't, if you don't see a, a decimal in a whole number, it's at the end. So, a really cool trick is you can actually just move the decimal. Now, I want you to put a little star and write move two places. The reason you're moving it two places is because you're dividing by 100 technically, this is what you're doing, but instead of having to write this out every time, you're doing a shortcut by just moving the decimal two times because 100 has two zeros, okay? All right. Um, so, there's a little rhyme that I created to help you remember, so write this down, percent to decimal, because we need to remember which way to move it, to the left, we roll. So, percent to decimal. To the left we roll. And again, I remember it because you're roll, rolling to the left. So the L's, you roll to the left. Percent to decimal, to the left we roll. So the left is actually this way. So I would roll one spot, two spots, and then I'd put my new decimal there. So this would just become 2.35. As a decimal which is exactly what I got when I divided it so instead of having to do this division I can just remember this little nifty trick and move it twice to the left and get my decimal okay so for example let's say I had another one I'm gonna write it up here let's say I had 4% all right percent to decimal to the left we roll well, because I don't see a decimal, that means it's at the end. I'm going to roll two places to the left. 
one, two. And I put my new decimal right there. Well, what goes in that blank? I have to put a zero in. So that means that 4% as a decimal would be 0 0.04 or four hundredths. Okay, now we're going to look at the opposite. We're going to start with a decimal and change it into a percentage. Well, I can do the same thing that I normally do, which look at the place value. It's in the hundredths place and I can put 42 over 100. Now, since all percents are out of 100, all I have to do is look at my numerator. That means it has to be 42%. Again, there's a quick little trick. And again, you're going to write move two places. When you're changing from a decimal to a percent, it's like you're multiplying by 100, okay? rather than here where it's like you're dividing by 100. So if I multiply by 100, I actually move the decimal two spots, but I move it the other direction, which is to the right. So here's your little saying to help remember this. Decimal 2% to the right. We went. All right. So just remember <laughs> that this one you're moving to the left and this one you're moving to the right. Okay. Help learn this little saying so it'll help you know which way to go. Because if you do it the opposite way, you will get it wrong. So let me show you here. If I start at my decimal, and it says to move to the right, again, two places. 100 has two zeros, that's a way to remember it. I can move it one, two, and my new decimal is gonna go here, which would just be 42 point, or I can just leave it off since it's at the end, and that would just be 42%. Again, I'll show you another example up here. So you can put this into practice. Let's say I had 0 0.8, okay? I wanna change that to a percentage, so I'm gonna use this trick, decimal 2% to the right we went. I'm gonna to go to the right, I have to go twice. One, two, my new decimal goes here. Well again, if I have a hole, I have to fill it with a zero. So that means that 0.8 or 8 tenths would be 80% as a percentage. Okay? All right, now let's look if I start with a fraction. How do I make that to a percent? Well, one way I can do this is with equivalent fractions. Because I know that percents are out of 100, I could see, can I get my denominator somehow to 100? Because if I can get this to 100 and then I do the same thing to my numerator, I know that the numerator, my new numerator, is my percentage. So, if I look at this, 3 fifths is a perfect candidate because I can get 5 to 100. If I think nickels, there are 20 nickels in a, in a dollar, so this would be times 20. So then this would also be times 20. Five times 20 is 100. Three times 20 is 60. So this would just equal 60%. So that's one way I could do this. Now, if I can't figure out how to get this to 100, then I always have the other method which I could divide and make it a decimal. And then I could use this trick of moving the decimal two spots to make it a percent. So I'm going to show you that real quick. So let's say I didn't know how to do this. I can always do ice cream cone and divide. So three goes on inside the freezer, five goes out. Five does not go into three, I put a zero. 5 goes into 36 times, which is 30. 
Okay, so now I'm done with my decimal. It's 0 0.6 or 6 tenths. Now I can use my trick. Decimal 2%. To the right we went. I go two places to the right. One, two. Put my new decimal. I fill this with a zero. And I'm left with 60 or 60%. Okay, so either one of these methods would work. Again, this will work for everything. This will work only if you can get your denominator to evenly go into 100. Okay, one more. I'm going to change this mixed number into a percentage. So first of all, I'm going to start by using this and making the one third into a decimal. I'm going to leave the two. I already know that one hole is 100%. So two holes would be 200%, but I'm for now, I'm just going to start by making this into a decimal. You can always go from a fraction to a decimal and then to the percent. And likewise, you could go from a percent to a decimal and then to the fraction. You can, it's sort of like circle. Okay, so I'm going to leave the two here as my whole number, and I'm going to just worry about this one third and do ice cream cone. So one, three does not go into one. I put a decimal and a zero. Three goes into 10 three times. Three times three is nine. 10 minus nine is one. I'm left with a one again. So I know it's gonna be repeating. I'm gonna to go to one more spot just to prove it. Three goes into 10 three times, which is nine. Again, I subtract and I get one. So I'm going to stop there. I know this is repeating. Okay, I'm going to put my 2 with it. So 2 is a whole number, so that would be 2.33 repeating. Now that's my decimal, but I need to make it into a percentage. Well, I'm going to use this trick right here. Decimal 2%, to the right we went. 1, 2. So now my decimal would be right here at the end. So this would be 233%. However, because this is repeating, what would come after the decimal? Well, another three, not a zero. So I can't just round this off as 233% because even though that's really close to the answer, it's not exact. So what I actually have to do is I put my decimal, I'm gonna add one more three because I know after this would come another three. So I'm going to add one more three, and I'm going to put the repeating line over that because it would keep repeating. And then I'm going to put my percent sign. So anytime you have a repeating decimal and you need to change it to a percent, just remember, you're going to still move over twice, but since this technically repeats on and on and on and on and on and doesn't stop and would be a zero next, you actually have to continue it on, put one more three or whatever's repeating and make sure you put the repeating symbol over the decimal. You cannot have a repeating line over a whole number. You can't have a whole number repeat because then the value is changing. Okay, so we're gonna just quickly write only decimals repeat. We're never gonna put a repeating symbol over a whole number. Okay, um, another way also I could write this is 233 and one third percent. Because 0 0.3 repeating, if I put that over nine, three ninths reduces to one third. So both of these would technically be correct. Okay, all right, go ahead and keep practicing. See you next time.